Hello and welcome to our NetSuite video demonstration. In this video we will show you the easiest way in NetSuite to create your own approvals with the Suite Approval app. Suite Approval provides standard capabilities for managing approval of various record types like journal entry, purchase order, vendor bill and more. You can create approval rules, each consisting of a set of criteria and approval hierarchy, to manage the validation and approval routing of these records. Approval rules can be configured with a number of approval types that include supervisor, employee, role, and department approver, employee hierarchy, parallel approver, or a dynamic approval type where an approval can be sourced from another linked record to the transaction. Suite approvals allows the user to set up a series of rules depending on their business requirements. First, the user will have to select the transaction type, the subsidiary, the period active, and the priority level of the rule. Then the user can choose currency, the threshold above which the rule is set off, and the routing type. In this example, we want to use the department approver type. What we need to do first is to set up one employee as a department approver. We only need to provide the department, subsidiary, and the approver name and then save the settings. In the next step, we are going to set up an approval rule for a purchase order. Again, we go through the header menu and then click Create new approval rule. In this case, we use the approval rule assistant. The benefit here is that it lets you create approval rules in steps. The next screen is quite self-explanatory. As you can see, we need to enter the basic information. In the record name field, we select purchase order from the list. After providing the basic information, click the Next button. On the next screen, we define the approval routing. Approval rules triggers based on a transaction amount. Here, in the case of a purchase order, the app allows the user to choose the purchase limit of the employee as a trigger for the approval process. Here, you can define the currency, the amount mapping, the amount limit, and all levels of approval, and then click Next to proceed. On the Review Approval Rules screen, you can check the settings before finishing it by clicking the Finish button. And now we can use the approval rule built with the Suite Approval app. In the next part of the video, we are going to initiate the workflow. First, we create a new purchase order through the header menu. On the Purchase Order screen, we provide the mandatory information. Saving the purchase order starts the approval rule process in the background, and NetSuite will inform you about that in the Approval Information section on the Confirmation screen. The Approval History subtab always shows the current status of the workflow, like Approval Status, Approver Type, or Next Approver. The Next Approver will always get an email notification with inline links to the purchase order. The employee can either accept or reject the transaction or even click the purchase order link to open it in NetSuite. In the event of a rejection, they have to enter a rejection reason, which then appears in a field on a transaction record. The employee who created the purchase order can easily see why it was rejected and potentially edit and resubmit it. If there is a next approver after the first approval, the purchase order will also show that in the approval information section. The next approver will of course receive an email notification too. When the last approver approved the purchase order as well, the status shows us pending receipt. This also means there are no more approver following in this workflow. We click the approval history subtab for an overview. Here you can see the single process stages displaying various information about the workflow. Thank you for your time. We hope you find this video helpful. Reach out to us if you have any questions or concerns. We will be glad showing you more about NetSuite Suite Approval app and other functionalities.